Nogi's had has a medicine course, has a dentistry course. They even have pre-med and very affordable tuition fees, 6,500 euros a year. The university has an entrance exam. The entrance exam is to test your basic knowledge in biology and chemistry. So it's a basic exam that we also help students prepare for. And the next intake for Novisad is going to be in October. So Russian, a lot of students are applying, seats are filling up. And let me show you a little bit more about the features, the campus features. One of the best parts is modern classes and lecture rooms that Novisad has. As you can see, the rooms are very modernly designed for you to enjoy your classes to the maximum, to enjoy your seminars with multimedia systems, um, high-speed internet, which students are enjoying to the maximum there. In addition to the laboratories, the best part is the laboratories because the university has labs that are equipped with up-to-date equipment and facilities to provide a great hands-on experience. And speaking about the hands-on experience, moving to the clinical uh, practice that the university offers, they have a very strong clinical practice with their modern facilities and the hospitals that, of course, the team of expert doctors that you get to spend time with and learn from to the maximum and get the best practical experience possible. Moving on from here, we get to see pictures of the campus. So you can look at how big the campus is and the nice scenery around it. One of the best campuses and Novi Sad being one of the biggest cities in Serbia. Um, you can see the, the scenery around the campus. I think we have more photos if we uh, move the slide, yeah, of the halls and the inside of the university campus. And let's move to the reason. Why do students like to study at Novi Sad? One of the things is because it's a big city, it's easy to travel there. And another great part, which is the exciting part for most of the students is Novi Sad is known for its successful performances at festivals, activities in the country and abroad and the multicultural environment that they have. Moving on from here, I'm excited to introduce that we have today representatives from Novi Sad. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Roka, and this is my colleague Marco. We both work in the Secretariat for Studies in English. And uh, I will introduce you briefly uh, to our university uh, and some of our programs, and Marco will later explain you a little bit more about our admission procedure. Okay, so uh, the Faculty of Medicine uh, of Novi Sad is established in 1960, and this is public institution. We are member of the University of Novi Sad, uh, which uh, was also established in 1960. We have uh, about uh, 5,500 students, and some 500 of them are in our English programs. Our programs in English started uh, around uh, 1993, uh, medicine and dental medicine a few years later. So we basically offer two full programs in English. It's medicine lasting six years, and this is equivalent to 360 ECTS credits, and dental medicine uh, also six years and 360 ECTS credits. Uh, as I said, both programs are fully available in English language. Uh, we offer a lot of practical training. Uh, our students start basically with the practical classes uh, from uh, the second year. And then uh, the number of practical classes in the hospital increases every year. Uh, so our school uh, is located a little bit outside of the main campus. Uh, that means uh, we are uh, actually uh, located in the middle of the hospital area. This is the regional university hospital, like University Clinical Center of Novi Sad. And our students have lectures uh, at, the, at the premises of the faculty and practical classes in the hospital. Uh, and Marco will now tell you a little bit more about our admission procedure and the requ basic requirements for admission. Uh, we can't hear you, Marco. Uh, sorry. Uh, can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. We're still struggling to hear you. Mm. Can you come closer, please? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, uh, we can hear you now. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want to make a little correction. Our next intake is in May, and we will have another one in uh, June. Uh, our uh, admission process is uh, simple. We require uh, A level, uh, 12 grade uh, uh, for education. Uh, our uh, we require entrance exam. Entrance exam is uh, online. 
and uh, the reference exam is from biology and chemistry. Uh, it is done, uh, it, it's, it lasts for uh, three hours, and there are 30 questions from biology, 30 questions from chemistry. Um, Marco, can you please come a little bit more closer? <laughs> of course. So we can hear well, you better. Uh, okay, I, I hope you can hear me a little better now. Uh, our uh, entrance exam is uh, online entrance exam, and it's from biology and chemistry. We are uh, doing it uh, with 30 questions from biology, 30 questions uh, from chemistry. Uh, also, uh, we, we will have uh, some 60, 70 available places for medicine and 20 places for dental medicine. Mm -hmm. I think uh, that those are about uh, some, some basic informations about us. Maybe uh, if you want to ask some questions, we will be happy to answer it. Maybe maybe I can just add some something uh, something uh, uh, with regards to A level uh, high school uh, degree. We don't pose any specific requirements regarding the grade in biology, chemistry, physics, or math. So uh, students, uh, any passing grade in these subjects is okay, uh, and students must pass the entrance exam in biology and chemistry. 